Breast cancer can have an effect on your dating and sex life. Um, so I'm currently in a relationship. We've been together for four years. It's crazy because we were long distance for like two and a half years. Um, and then he finally moved back to New Jersey. We were hanging out in New York and seeing each other every weekend. And then when I told him that I had cancer, I was like, you don't have to do this with me. Like, I understand like I'm not the only one going through cancer. He was just like, no, like, shut up. Like, I'm gonna do this with you. Um, like, don't worry. And he's the type of person that's like level-headed and you know, his emotions are to the side. And you need that because I wasn't really emotional during chemo, but like, I just like, there's so many things going on that I didn't know how to prioritize. And so he was there to like help me prioritize. A relationship is work, right? But this is a different type of work. It's like, sometimes I feel bad because I couldn't be a good girlfriend um, like a lot of the times I didn't really have emotions or affection and you know that was an issue which I told him I'm like it's not you it's just like the situation um, so it was helpful that he understood. Breast cancer can have huge significant downstream effects on overall um, psychological and sexual health and relationships. Women who have mastectomies often lose sensation and breast sensation and stimulation can be a significant part of sexual health for, for a woman. Some of the medications that we put women on to reduce the risk of breast cancer coming back can affect libido and sex drive. And these are all important factors to, to consider. I didn't really have sex while I was going through treatment, but Dr. Irie would talk to me about it. She was like, if you have sex, just don't tear anything and like be careful. And I was like, I'm not going to have sex, but thank you. Um, it was mostly my doctors telling me things and I was like, it's not on my list. It's, you know, it's complicated because you're going through treatment, you don't look the way that you used to, it's a trying time in your body and your confidence. So, you know, it's okay to be single for a little bit or not, if you don't want to, if you want to go out and date. Um, and it's your right to like disclose your information to that person that you're dating. If you want to, you know, you don't have to necessarily. Um, it's, everything's on your terms. Like whatever you want to do or comfortable with, that's on you.